everyone, welcome back to JJ's Big House. Today I'm going to make you some white chocolate regular buttercream. So on my channel I do have a Swiss meringue white chocolate buttercream, but I have been asked a few times just for a regular buttercream. So I've got my bar of chocolate, I've got 200 grams of white chocolate, 250 grams of butter, 500 grams of icing sugar, and we'll have a look and see if we need to add any liquid to it later. So as usual, I begin with my butter, and this is left out overnight, so it's lovely and soft, as you can see. So that goes straight in. I use unsalted butter. If you do like salt, you can add a little bit, um, or if you wanted, you can do half salted butter and half regular butter. So as usual, we need to get this as whipped up as we possibly can so that we can dissolve this. It's the way I begin with every one of my buttercreams and it's extremely important. So I do have a creaming paddle, which I really, really recommend. They are amazing. So if you have one of those, brilliant. If you don't, you're gonna have to stop your mixer every now and again and scrape all the sides down and keep going. But on a medium to high speed, here we go, about eight minutes, and I'll be back to you. Right. Oh, and peace. So, mine's been going around there now for around about six or seven minutes. Seven minutes. And this is the way it wants to look. So that is really, really light and airy and very pale in colour. And that is exactly the consistency you need to make sure that this ice and sugar dissolves and this works. So now we're gonna add the ice and sugar. I also just melted some of the white chocolate, well not some, I, added all, I just melted all of the white chocolate. So I had 200 grams of white chocolate there. The reason I melted it ahead here is I don't want it hot when it goes into there. So we are just gonna leave that there to cool whilst I add this. So the usual way, I add this in three parts. So straight off, I add a third, I have my tea towel, which I pop over the top, slow speed, until you think it's incorporated. There we go. And then just speed yourself back up again. You never want to go above a medium speed now. If you do, you're going to put too much air into this buttercream, which nobody wants. So we've got a lot of air in there with the butter, but you don't want to go above medium. On the last go, it won't be this high. This is still a little bit too high, but it'll be okay. Right, that's all incorporated. And here we are. Now pop in the second lot. Now make sure that you do sieve your ice and sugar because you don't want lumps. Right, there we go. Oh, my dog's off again. Someone's walking past the house, I would imagine. Right, and there we go. And up again. It starts getting stiffer and stiffer. But that's fine, that's what we want. There we go. I'm not going to let mine go above this now. I want it to go at this speed um, because I don't want to bang too much air into it. So it's more slow and steady wins the race. That was cheesy. I like cheesy sayings. Right. Last lot. Oh, I'm trying to be clever. I'm not even lifting the thing. Right, in it goes. Tea towel again. Right, it won't be as happy now, my mixer, because it's having to do a lot more work. Right, I can hear it. Sounds miserable. Right then. There we go. Oh, it is having to do a little bit more work. But it's happy with it, it's fine. And I'm just gonna leave this now for a few minutes at this speed just to really really mix down. I am nudging a little bit. I don't really want to put any water in this. Maybe 
I'll add some of my white chocolate now. I'm not hot anymore. Right, in it goes then. My machine wants something liquidy. So I will listen and give it what it wants. There we go. Right, let's, I am going to take the speed up just a little bit. Right. I need to add some liquid to this. So let's, um, I'm going to add boiled water. So let me grab some boiled water. Right. On a very slow speed there. I have been going around now for about three or four minutes. So it still looks to me not quite silky enough. So I am adding another tablespoon of the previously boiled water just because I really, I have a certain consistency that I really like it to be and I think that that there for the moment is just a little bit too stiff still. So if you like stiffer buttercream, but I really like mine a little bit silky. So again, slow speed and I'm gonna go for another couple of minutes. I know this seems like a really long process, but this way, you're really not going to get those air pockets in there, which when you're smoothing around the outside of a cake, just tend to ruin the look. So you're best off going really, really slow to begin with and not having that issue. Also, the longer that the machine is beating for, the more that that uh, ice and sugar is dissolving in there as well and stopping that harsh graininess that can tend to come with regular buttercream that people don't like so this is worth it i do promise it is worth it so i will leave this and i'll be back to you in about two minutes time right this is exactly the consistency that i am looking for so that is hold up and silky buttercream so we are very nearly finished. I just want to add now a half teaspoon of vanilla to this. So I've got my vanilla and I'm just gonna add a half teaspoon of vanilla. Just because the vanilla brings out a little bit more of the flavor of the butter, of the white chocolate. And really, because white chocolate can have such a very subtle taste. So this just brings it out. So now I'm just gonna literally combine that and get that in. Such a nice smell coming off there. I can really smell the white chocolate. So this is essentially done. Let's get this out and pop it into the bowl so you can see. Right. I'm really happy with this. we go. Just pop that onto there. Probably could have done with a bigger spatula but I'm sure we'll cope. So as you can see there it's really nicely silky, smooth and the air pockets in there are virtually non-existent. And that's what we're looking for. So let's pop some of this into the bowl so you can see there. So we have a lovely consistency, really, really stand up, smooth, lovely buttercream. So that was your white chocolate buttercream. I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial. As you can see, most of my buttercream tutorials really have this same basis to them it's whipping up that butter so so much and then incorporating slowly on a very low speed and if you stick to those rules and sieving the icing sugar it's extremely important as well if you stick to those rules you're always going to come out with a smooth buttercream so start with that butter make sure that it's soft not melting but soft enough for the machine just to cut through straight away and then it will get that air in and it will always go well. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you soon. Take care, bye bye.